ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What? A jealous Oberon? Very skinheads. Cotswold Chine is a residential school in Gloucestershire for children with developmental difficulties. The school has recently purchased a new building with the help of a rather unusual bank, Mercury Provident. This bank is the subject of our film, and one of the teachers interrupted a play rehearsal to explain to the children why we were there. When the school wanted to buy a new house, we had to go to a bank to ask them for the money to buy that new house. And this bank that we went to is a very special sort of bank that likes schools like ours. Now, when you borrow money from a bank, you have to pay it back over many, many years. And the banks make their money. Why would they lend you the money? Because they want to make some money as well, ordinary banks. And so you have to pay back more than you borrowed. Now, sometimes they ask you for a lot of money, and you have to pay back a lot more than you borrowed. So the trustees of Cotswold Chime went to this bank, Mercury, and asked them for some help. And they then responded and lent Cotswold Chime money and didn't ask for so much money back again. Mercury Provident is a small ethical bank which supports and encourages idealistic initiatives connected with education, the environment and agriculture. It was founded in 1974 and has its headquarters in Forest Row, Sussex. Now, 17 years later, Mercury has assets of over £5 million and is growing fast. There are seven directors, four of whom are unpaid, and a support staff of five. Mercury is able to lend at favourable rates of interest, sometimes as low as 4%, because those who deposit with them are willing in their turn to receive less interest themselves. Who then are these depositors? Mercury has contact with over 600 of them. One is Peter Ward, a retired businessman. I think it was um, mainly because I was attracted to the idea that you could, through depositing with them, direct the money in a certain direction particularly if it was uh, something which was uh, deserving of uh, support. Some small business starting up, especially in the environmental field, or uh, a business that was um, uh, trying to do something which was needed, either in the community or um, um, because it was producing something which was worthwhile producing. Uh, probably not too commercial and not too uh, greedy, not too profit-grabbing and so forth. 